Hey guys, it's me again. I'm out here uh, the weekend before Memorial Day. And um, it's uh, Saturday. I've been going at it all day and I've got a lot done. Working on the getting all the rest of the tabbing done. I did a uh, 6 inch, a 12 inch, and then came back and capped them. Uh, at least in the back section I've gotten capped. But all you need is a uh, real good uh, dream, so to speak, a couple nights ago that uh, we had all the family on the lake and the kids and hit a big wave and the boat shattered in like a million pieces and I said that's all I needed to make a really really overkill on the boat make sure it's structurally as strong as it needs to be uh, that's kind of a funny story but I uh, thought I'd share that in case anybody else has had that crazy dream but let me show you what I've gotten done and uh, we'll go from there alright we can see that uh, I've got the back section is what I call completely done and when I say back section Really and truthfully, I only mean from right here back to the you know where the transom is. When the cap goes on, all that area is really really hard to get to. Um, so I thought, you know what, let's do it all now. I don't keep fighting it. You can look at the front here. You can see as far as waterproofing, I don't have a section right there, but I can get to that uh, with the cap on. Not a big deal. All of my six and twelve inch tabbing is done on all the stringers um, inside and out. The bulkheads here on the side like in the last video you can tell I left the outsides undone because uh, when the cap goes back on I want to make sure if it flexes any which I believe it will for my measurements I look at about between a quarter and a half an inch of flex I guess you split that on both sides maybe it's a quarter on both but I've learned something when you're doing the capping when you're capping your stringers or your bulkheads when you have a piece on the side like this you can look and see you know it's not very far to go up from down there all the rest of my changes this is the first one I did what I found out was that when you take it and if it goes, you know, this much right here, go ahead and make it go all the way down on the stringer, at least, you know, six, eight inches. The reason for that I found is when you take and you put your roller on there and you start pushing down, you know, as you're putting your um, resin on, it actually pulls it. And you've got this large span of an area pulling down onto the top of the stringer or bulkhead. And it really helps keep it nice and tight on the top. Uh, you don't have to keep fighting to get little teeny tiny air bubbles. What I came back and did was took my roller and just kept kind of you know putting it on an angle and squeegeeing stuff out as I came back so it kept saturating the top of it just over and over and over with resin and then I take my bubbles and work them out from side to side and um, took a lot more a lot harder a lot longer than it should have less special on the rest of them the rest of them went really well as far as the transom goes I did a uh, a six inch tabbing like two different ways um, you know I came from here I came up to here I came across there I came there then I took and did a 12 inch here and there and then across and then I came back and did you know doing that on both sides including the inside right here as well then I did a whole piece of 1708 across in fact you can see right there is my overlap that's right about six to seven inches of overlap so really that transom it's not going anywhere because uh, I kept thinking about this every time I did fiberglass every time I did like a uh, tabbing I didn't just stop it right here at the end I actually took it cut it in the corner and came all the way over and at least over eight to ten inches. Now, the reason I did that was I started looking at my original design. Now if everybody remembers, I took and cut the stringer down so far and then cut the top half of the bulkhead so they just they slide in, they notch right in place. It was really great when you were taking one to, you know, put, I had all this in place, none of it was bedded, none of it was tabbed, it was all just sitting here, pretty please. I didn't have to tack any of it, I didn't have to hold any of it. Um, so I really, really enjoyed that because once I got it in place, I was done. What I started thinking about was I've now cut the top of this stringer. Now obviously, when you're taking this motor, you know, the force back here is pushing back like this. So it's trying to lift the bow up. So as it tries to lift the bow up, it's going to pull apart right here. This may be a complete overkill as far as what I'm thinking, but for to try to avoid that, that's why I kept wrapping those corners. All those corners are probably two and three tab each one. Um, and they're long tabs. They're not short. They're long. You know, started with a six. Actually, these corners went with a three, went with a six, and then they went with a twelve all the way around. When I did the box back here in the back. I took and actually um, did a um, uh, corners all threes. Did a six inch R on the bottom. Did a twelve inch R on the bottom. You know, half and half. Then I actually came back and did a twelve inch on its side um, to make all those boxes strong. It didn't go down on the deck as much. But or the hole, the boat, but it came almost all the way up to the top. So it's a solid piece. It goes from here all the way over and all the way back around. It seems back there in the middle, a big six inch overlap. 
So the back of this thing structurally is just like a tank. Um, like I say, you know, all I need was a reminder of what could happen. And you know, realistically, um, I've looked at a lot of these things, you know, as far as a hole, it could crack, you know, things like that. As far as shattering, you know, that's, that's kind of unrealistic. I've still got uh, all my front stringers here. Uh, the front section, as I call it, from the front of the gas tank on up. I've got to cap all those. I've not done that. However, all of my tabbing on those are done. Um, I will have another bulkhead that runs you know, right here. If you can step back, you can see that's just kind of too much distance. So I've got another bulkhead on here on either side, little little tight pieces in the middle. Um, then I've got the one right here on the side. It goes up to the 45. I think we did this earlier. It comes around. This is what the actual top cap sits on. But I can build all that in place. Uh, everything I can do that with once I get the cap on and I know it's going to go back and line up right. I've still got to cut uh, my drain holes out and my bulkheads. I'm going to go ahead and cut, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and cut that one out uh, tonight. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and drill my holes back here once this dries. Um, you know, the, the last piece there in the front, the little half inch, is the only piece that doesn't have the holes in it yet. I've already drilled all the other holes previously. So I just got that last piece to go through. And what I learned is you take and clamp. I got a piece of plywood and I'll clamp it to it and put some pressure against it and then I'll drill through. That'll keep from causing this fiberglass to, um, here, let's see if I can get a picture of this right here. See right here? This is from the factory I know. Did you see how it kind of spiders around it? I just don't want it. I just don't want it to happen. But uh, man, guys, really feel like I'm making some progress. Oh, almost forgot. That's for the ladder. Went ahead and took that one out, made a new one, uh, PB'd it in, uh, tab all around, then a layer of 1708. I know, it's just a ladder, but uh, it's not going to go anywhere. And, um, oh, got to get my eye hooks in. Just now realized that. See those? Got to get the eye hooks on. Uh, you could probably do it with a cap on, but hey, why fight it, you know? Fellas, that's pretty much where I am. Um, like I say, it's uh, slow but steady wins the race, or so that's what I've been told. And I uh, just keep on trucking it one step at a time. Um, as everybody look at the boat and see where I am, realistically, uh, I'm shooting for July 4th. I uh, plan a big party up the lake, um, and so, and my daughter's birthday is July 28th, and uh, she won't say, what is it, a uh, Hello Kitty beach party, so, heck or high water, I've got to get this boat done, but that's where I am, guys, I uh, hope to do a really good video tomorrow on putting the cap on, uh, I've not seen any online as far as taking putting the cap on, I wish I'd actually videoed the whole process of taking it off, but I went and picked me up a bunch of 3 uh rivets, aluminum rivets today, and um, got me some uh, stainless steel screws. I'm gonna try to screw most part of it I can. But uh, hopefully all that will be in the video tomorrow and uh, talk to you guys later.